Hello and welcome to Star Wars. I just thought I'd film a video trying to rescue this tanker out here. And the new AMP Defense F917 in its stock configuration just to see what it's capable of. There's been a little talk about how it may get into trouble because of its hit boxes around its axles. And it's possible, but my impression has usually been that trucks can push some rocks out of the way if their axle has a hip box. And it's more about the rock being big enough to wedge itself between the frame and the ground and stop you that way because it's too heavy that actually the axle having hip box being the source of the problem. So, I don't know, I don't have a lot of experience with this truck, but that's just my initial impression. So, we'll see how it turns out. And in case you're wondering, I haven't even got the side cast yet, so that's why it's not activated. Here we are, we have a tanker trailer, probably where a tanker trailer should be. Imagine it was dropped off before, like, whatever happened, we just it out. This area is just water compacted dirt and mud water zone basically. So we need to deliver this. So let's hitch up. I have to say this isn't as bad as it looks. I was expecting way worse and like that I was gonna have to come in with something way more capable off road like maybe the Dairy Long Line 3194 or the Pacific 512 PF. And we got that and we need to deliver it there so we'll probably connect and then drive to here and follow this road down is what's probably gonna happen. That's not helpful. What we're going to do is a little trick called trailer winching to get ourselves going. Because we essentially sunk and we stu stopped in this to get ourselves going. This is probably where you see the difference between its stock off road tires and it might come in here with mud tires. But now we've got it going, but we're able to move. to say that that I don't know what that box is on the frame but that box hanging is hanging down on the ground is probably doing us no favors either and this is probably what I get for using the stock engine which is a V6 instead of the upgraded one of the two upgraded engines which are V8s see if adding more power that just makes the situation worse why is Okay, just a little more winchy. We got ourselves free. Now we're getting out of this muddy marsh, so we should be able to deliver. Oh, there is a bridge that you need to build as part of a cast that I have not built. That may make things a little not too bad. But still, if I'd been thinking, I probably would have built it before trying this. But anyway, so things are going to be a little more interesting. Let's 
Nancy. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's a connection. Now, I could, I guess, take the long route and go that way to go around. Can't remember exactly where the bridge is, so. As you can see, we do have enough momentum that some rocks can just kind of get pushed out of the way. So that's why I'm not too worried about the axle hitbox issue, is that the this rock that size can potentially get pushed out of the way. Although it does help that I'm kind of going downhill. Let's get rid of that because they don't line up where I thought it was. We need to go this way. But I, I've got a particular place in mind on the on uh, flooded field foothills in the Yukon where we can definitely see how axles having hitboxes is affected by the rocks. Oh, that was probably just that if you can't steer around the rock, you probably should. So that pulls on a helpful place, but it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get across. We'll just have to back up, take a slight detour. It shouldn't be too bad. Start swinging the trailer around. I don't know how muddy the bottom is, so we're just going to preemptively lock the differential and shift in the low gear, just to make sure. The one potential issue I can see here is that with certain vehicles you may have an issue high centering. The trailer, particularly if you do a vehicle with a truck that only has 43 inch tires, so at least having 47s may be something that would be recommended if you're going to do this, because you don't have the bridge built. You can see the frame's catching a little on the trailer just because of how far forward the low saddle is, so that's another thing to keep in mind. So the question is, do I go up that hill, or does it look like this valley I can potentially come up sideways here, which is probably the better idea, just to avoid high centering on the crest of that hill. 
And it looks like the max weight is definitely helping it not be as vulnerable to tipping over as, say, the GMC M8's 9500 would be, just because of how light that thing is. We're around the obstacle, and hopefully that's more of a different go racking up auto since we're back on the road. Should pick up a little speed and be able to deliver this. down on the back that there wouldn't be an issue, but that's what we should have been doing, is that one right there. there's any more obstacles. At least from what I've seen in this map, I don't think there should be. I want somebody to recover a scout car, a scout trailer, side trailer, a little trailer down and come back this other way. So, you know, this drop-off should be coming up right about now. Yeah, it's right there. And now, let's deliver and complete it. And job done. And thank you for watching.